fool is mercilessly flung into a bland and boring jail cell by talking strawberry. And stay there. Come with me, trench coat sir. Let us discuss carrot politics over some tea and cookies. Okay, sure. Don't you mean biscuits? I want six. I think you want six. 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 Line 2643 of the 15th Act of the 97th Law of the Country states that not more than one entity can occupy the same article of clothing in one go. Jail for you! Our cover's been blown. We should reveal ourselves then, once and for all. Fool looks quizzically at trench coat until they start actually taking off the trench coat to reveal that all this time it was just three very small children. Standing on top of each other's shoulders, and not one regular-sized man. Fool's eyes widen. Yes, We're sorry, Fool. Fool. We should start from the beginning, no? My name's Tick. Tack. First and foremost, please accept our most sincere apologies for attempting to scam you out of your precious carrot. We now understand just how much it means to you. Yes, we just wanted the carrot for our mom's birthday. So we used a fake watch to scam you. We're also not really time travelers. She's cool as that, and all this food is nothing. She went from being a cat, and our social nights and all our friends today are Irish disease and all that we have. Besides that, we are extremely apologetic. At least you kept your carrot safe. By the way, the horse pulled us in Spanish, and your head will be chopped off if you never get the carrot to the kitty. Muffled screams escape from Fool's mouth. The kids help free Fool's mouth. From her ghastly trap, so she can speak. This is ridiculous. I can't believe I was scammed by three primary schoolers. I feel very much like a fool, even though I am fool. Besides that, do you stinky brats know how much time there is until the king's birthday? Tick allows fool to take a peek at a real British watch. Uh oh, six four eight two nine seven five eight four two nine eight hours really flies by in the blink of an eye, doesn't it? I do regret not making the delivery sooner. Maybe the carrot would have gotten to the king faster, and I wouldn't be rotting away in prison while stuck in a giant Chinese finger trap. I hate this. From around the corner, Bert, still orange, trots up to the jail cell. Why are you here, Bert? Shouldn't you be having tea with that little strawberry, relishing in the fact that you are in a stupid, boring prison like the four of us? Fool. 虽然我真的很讨厌你，虽然你是坏人，虽然你给我带来很多痛苦。虽然你发烧，做很多 foolish 的东西。虽然你是一个 criminal。虽然你的名字叫 fool。虽然你都不明白我在说什么。我是来救你，因为 Bert unleashes a wonderfully reasonable explanation as to why he has come to save everyone. His words are beautiful, gorgeous, and as quaint and delicate as a clear garden pond on a bright sunny morning. Hearing such moving words, fool and tic tac toe. I'll tear up. Bert uses the jail cell keys that he stole expertly from Talking Strawberry and frees Fool and Tic Tac Toe, extracting Fool from the giant Chinese finger trap in the process. They are prepared to make their final escape together, but Talking Strawberry suddenly rushes up and blocks their path. Thou shall not pass. If you, three children who share a trench coat. A horse coated in watercolors, and someone named Fool would like to leave this prison house. You all must pass through me first. We'll get you good, you daft strawberry. Please wait your death. Make good preparations. Charge! The final battle ensues. It is the strawberry versus everyone else. They fight and kick and pull and tear and punch and slap and smack and spit and throttle and choke with all of their mights. Get the finger trap, Bert! Thinking quickly, Bert and the rest band together and wrap Talking Strawberry in the giant Chinese finger trap, which I will now demonstrate.
additional decoration, tic-tac-toe dressed the wrapped-up police officer in the trench coat and large hat. Talking Strawberry is rendered immobile. They all throw it out of a conveniently placed window, and it falls into a river and floats away, never to be seen again. Evil has been destroyed, mutilated and murdered even. Thanks everyone, let's wrap this up for today. I would buy lunch for us, but I unfortunately only have zero dollars. Don't you have a carrot to deliver? Good point. Let's skedaddle. Everyone hops on Bert, and they gallop out of the prison and start heading towards the king's castle. The party gallops as fast as the wind through a flowery field. The king's castle is barely visible on the horizon. Its many turrets and towers poking directly through the clouds. The sun is just as hot as usual. <laughs> Amazing bars right there, Toe. I will shine brighter now because that is how I express my appreciation of good bars. The sun, as it just mentioned, shines brighter. Everyone gets really sweaty and stuff, which causes Bert's orange and green paint to stain everyone, turning the entire party orange and green, like a group of human-sized and horse-sized carrots. We're all covered in sweaty water cover now. By federal law, this sort of carrot cosplay is illegal, but the only police officer in the land is kind of drowning right now, so I do not care. I hope you all are enjoying my pain. We're nearing the castle. Look at this mob of strangers. A terrible riot scene unfolds as the party nears the castle. A mob of citizens surround the group on both sides. People fight and claw their way past, holding up protest signs, saying things like We need carrot now, and death for tardy carrot deliverer. Fool gulps. <coughs> Do not fear, Miss Fool. We still have much time left. Precisely, just negative two hours and 21 minutes left to deliver the carrot. Oh no! Oh no! <coughs> Zogo! Oh no! Oh no! Nevertheless, the group still makes it to the castle entrance. They are greeted by an even worse sight. The king, sitting menacingly on a super cool werewolf, glares down at a tiny group. Many other super cool werewolves all bear the teeth of the latecomers. The rest of the king's family also join in on the glaring, as Fool nervously brandishes the disheveled carrot to the king, which clearly has been through a lot of hardships. Um, hello king. I mean Mr. King. I mean Sir Mr. King. I mean Lord Sir Mr. King. I mean, this is what you have to show? After such a long and agonizing wait, a gross and disgusting piece of orange vegetable? Yes. Uh, I mean no. I mean yes and no. I mean maybe. There are many possible answers that can come out of my mouth as of now. I mean, we brought the carrot at least. Putting that aside, why are all of you... carrot colored? Hmm. The king narrows his eyes and looks at the dilapidated carrot, sitting in Fool's hands. To Fool and Bert and Tic-Tac-Toe, who look very much like appetizing carrots. The king looks from carrot to group, to carrot to group, and to carrot and then back to the group again. He pulls out a pair of royal silver cutlery and licks his lips as his eyes flash perversely. His large shadow towers over the cowering group of carrots. At long last, we open again to a mosaic sensor plate of orange substance and green leaves atop the royal dining table. The king enjoys his birthday dinner alone, surrounded by servants and a grand dining hall. Finally, Fool's journey seems to have come to an end. Bert has yet to be returned to neighbor whose promises have also not been fulfilled one bit. As for Tick, Tack, and Toe, who knows if their mother will get word of their fate? She may not even live long enough to wonder where her darling children went. Even though the dastardly talking strawberry received its due punishment, our heroes, or rather, latecomers, have also received their very own last penalty. How could the king be so curiously awful? 
How can he live in such a degenerate way? The view pans up to a large metal cage suspended in the air by a metal chain in which the group is still alive, but forced to play music for the king for maybe the rest of their lives. Fool, Tick, Tack, and Toe are on the violin, while Bert plinks away on the piano. They are still miserable and orange. How could the king eat such a bad carrot with a joyful look on his face? He is simply a wonder, that old king. I would prefer having to be eaten by the king rather than having to stand here and play boring violin songs. Maybe I really shouldn't have been late after all. Fool, 这次这个片开始从我的 horse pose 胜出来